Hello and welcome to the Telegraph Studios. I'm Alastair Greener and today we're discussing values in the boardroom. And joining me is Mel Woonwell, who is the Head of Leadership and Culture at Grant Thornton. At what point should they be contacting an organisation like Grant Thornton? At what stage of their procedure, or what stage of their business should they be contacting someone for help? Well, it's good to do it on the front foot if there is this realization which many organizations have made which is the world has changed and it's moving much more quickly that's the best time to say right let's make sure our business is fit for purpose let's really think about what's going to be happening in the next five to ten years how do we prepare for that today the worst thing to do is to wait for there to start to be leaks bad press things on social media and then try and do it reactively because that's that's a much more difficult task. If a company, let's say I'm a company and I decide to engage you and say, yes, this is what I need to do, I need some help with this, you come into my organisation, what's going to happen? Talk me through the process. So the first thing we would do is come in and ask some, some big questions, things like, well, what is your purpose as an organisation? Why do you exist? What's your vision for the future? What are your customers looking for? And those would be conversations that we would have with the board just to see how adventurous they are, how ambitious, how aware they are. And then once we've got a measure of how diverse is the board, how prepared is the board, what are the leadership behaviours that they are unwittingly pushing through the organisation, once we've got all of that, then we can go broader and wider and look at the organisation more broadly. To do all of that sounds like it's going to have quite an impact on the business. You're going to have, need a lot of time with my managers, with my staff. I mean, how much of an impact is that going to make to my business in terms of day-to-day -day running? Well, for businesses who are taking this really seriously, they are prepared to commit time and people to something that's so very important. So the start point is working with the board. Is the board diverse enough? Are the non-execs given a broad enough brief that they can bring good challenge? So in the first instance, it's just really spending time with the board. That's not, that's not, I would say, not too much time, and it's the time that they should be spending anyway. And only when that's really clear, then do we start working with organisations at a broader level. And you can't just work with a leadership team because it's the people on the front line who are talking to customers every day that are the brand, they are the reputation. And some of the things they're doing, unwittingly, they'll interpret messages from the board and it will mean that they're doing things that if the board found out about it, they'd probably be quite surprised. So that's what boards should be having conversations about all of the time. They should be, if, if the role of management is to make sure the organisation is operationally effective, the role of leadership the board and the, the senior, most senior team should be around preparing for the future. That, I would say, is what the, the conversation should be in the boardroom. Culturally, are we on message and strategically, do we know where we're going? And do they fit? Are they married together? Talking about knowing where we're going, we all accept change is going to have to happen. The world is changing. It's not slowing down at all. Yeah. Where do you see the trends? I mean, what, looking forward, say, five to ten years, where do you think we're going to be at then regarding this issue? I mean, that's a great question because a lot of, a lot of boards become hesitant about having that kind of conversation because with it comes ambiguity. Do we really know what's going to be happening in five years' time? Can we say specifically, no, we can't? But there are trends. There are things like... Big data and data and anal analytics are having a big impact on organisations and how they start to think about doing business. There's changes in biotechnology. There's all sorts of things. There's movement of talent so that we can't, we can't hold on to our talent anymore. Young people have a mind of their own. They're looking for more fulfilment, more meaningful work. They don't want to have a career for life. So things like that mean we're going to have to keep reinventing and being much more meaningful as an organisation. Well, you've given companies a lot of food for thought there. Mel Wu, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you.